Welcome back guys to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're back and I'm hyped this time. You know why I'm hyped? Because we're doing the final. The final regional phenomenon. So we have to make our way... Where is it? Like all the way down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over there. Now, as we're making our way over there, I happen to notice one of these like hieroglyphs. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check this one out. Did I find it? Maybe? I think I did. Oh, I did find it. Bet. Okay, time for another 10 minute cutscene, guys. So brace yourselves. Sonia. Damn, his wife died. Oh, Zelda. King Raru. Before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came... I came to this era after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. When I witnessed what the Secret Stone did to Ganondorf, at that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. He was still alive. Still powerful. He continues to live on all the way into my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you. And you will. so but it is my duty to try <sighs> it was my hubris that set us on this path i must atone for my error in judgment and above all else i remain the king of hyrule as with any leader it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people even if I must risk my life. Raru. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. But remember, that was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. The reason I am here. When people ask, what's my type, I show them a picture of Zelda. Like, that that's my type. You know, the blonde girl with the elf ears. It's my type, man. I, I love white girls. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's make our way over here. Can we drop him? <laughs> he did. Oh, my God. I feel so bad. I don't give a fuck, though. I always wondered how you actually got these guys from point A to point B. I never thought about using the Ultra Hand until now. So we're going to see what uh, these guys like even do when you bring them to where they need to go. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Alright, our first Gloom Hands. Are you... No! Bro, that's gay. That's gay. That's gay. <laughs> well, fuck that dude. Bro! <laughs> I was not ready to fight Gloom Hands. Dude. What the fuck? 
What's that mark right there? The little circle? What is that? Oh, it's a well. Let's check it out then. Yeah, I think we raided this base well pretty good. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. I think we did the shrines in, like, perfect order, bro. Or not the shrines, the... What the fuck is this? That's a weird-ass shrine. Is it, like, underground? How does this work? Oh, we don't even have to complete. It just gives us a... No way, no way. Follow the beam of light. Okay then. Put it right here. All fine. Okay, now we can draw we can go back to the shrine, right? Yeah. And now with Goro, we're, we're gonna attack anything in our sight. So if anyone wants to fuck with us, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit these dumb fucks. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. This is our first, like, what does that do? Is it just a light of blessing now, or does it become a shrine? Oh no, it literally becomes a shrine. We're almost at four again. We can get more stamina. How far are we? Okay, we're pretty close. Fuck. Damn, this place is far. Oh, there's a sky tower right there. Now does it go down? Yes, sir. Yes, it does. We gotta eat one of these, like, uh, foods again. As I noticed. We'll go ahead and do this shrine, check out that tier that we saw, and then we'll get to whatever village we need to go to, and then we'll wrap up the episode. I guess we have mirrors in the game now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a cool shrine. <laughs> We got another one of these geoglyphs, and I already saw the tear. Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo, for taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. So they used to be friends, or at least to serve it, it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the and kingdom of Hyrule. that's what he wants. Hyrule. He wants that thing. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth. Well, it is truly reassuring. It is my honor. So that when used to your be a good Zonai guy. ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <laughs> your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. Hmm. It is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world. 
with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> Your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. He does not trust him. He knows something's up. King Roru. I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. Just his name, even that, it gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. <sighs> there is nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay, that was the shortest tier ever, thank god. No more 10 minute cutscenes. Right? Yeah. I think if we just go in this general direction, we'll be good. Okay, yeah, we made it. Barely. Okay, so we have to find a way to get over there. We can't pass because we're a bow. So how do we... I think we have to go around. Oh, so I need to dress up like a girl. Otherwise, it won't let me be in there. No! Oh, we made it here. We found like some weird otter thing. What is this? I think we found our new sage. Yeah, probably. Which is electricity, okay. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. Link. It's you. Link the swordsman. Oh, she's bad. Who is that? This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. And she's a uh, she's his race. Heal. She's she's a Helian, right? They look the same. They both got the elf ears. But then you always show up in unusual times. Now do you come with us and let me into your village without me wearing no dumb clothes in a while. 
Oh, okay, after this, after this, we're gonna end the episode because this, this shit is dragging. <laughs> Yeah, those things are annoying, but they give you, like, strong-ass things. They do a lot of damage. Yo, I like this is my favorite ability. Please tell me she becomes a sage. Jesus Christ. That's the last one. Maybe? Yeah. It is, it is. Well, that was easy. I like her, dude. Her, her ability yeah. is my favorite one. Well if she becomes sage, I'm pretty sure she you. is. That's raw as fuck, bro. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. <sighs> Please, no more. I need to end the episode. <laughs> Oh, Is that Zelda? Zelda? <laughs> Tornadoes. That's bad. Real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link. Bro, we're she's literally the same size as Link. I'll meet you in town. If you guys enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe. We'll be back next week. I love this so far. I love this, this Helian girl. Mm-hmm. But we got y'all. Peace.